Hello everyone, welcome back. This is again Rajkumar Singh. Uh, as we have, we were discussing time independent perturbation theory, non degenerate case. I will just keep on skipping the slides till we come for the calculation for second order correction in this case. So these are the slides we have already discussed in our previous lecture and we have seen how the first order correction terms can be calculated on the basis of time independent perturbation theory particularly for the case of non-degenerate case. So we are due to speak about second order correction terms. So in continuation with my previous lecture let us proceed. For second order correction, we start with equation 7 and we have this equation which is equation 7 in the previous slides. Multiplying both sides with uh, psi and naught, we have this expression where every term of this equation 7 has been multiplied with the psi naught. As this is 0, we get 0 here plus we get the second term as it is and on the right hand side we have first term 0, second term 0, we are left with only the third term. So finally from this one we have en2 equal to sin naught h dash sin 1. Using the expression for sin 1 coming from the previous slides we have en2 equal to bre sin naught h dash and this whole expression uh, for sin 1 we are finally left with en2 equal to summation over m naught equal to n this modulus is square of psi m naught h dash psi n naught divided by en naught minus em naught therefore from en equal to en naught plus lambda en1 plus lambda square en2 plus so on limiting up to the first, second order term only we have en equal to en0 plus lambda en1 plus lambda square en2 so again en equal to en0 plus lambda en1 for that one we have in between the perturbation Hamiltonian plus lambda square and we have expression for en2 coming from the previous slide and this is the equation which we are using here in place of en square uh, en2 rather. So en equal to en0 plus psi n0 hp psi n0 plus lambda square and this left out term therefore we have energy up to the second order in perturbation given by this expression en equal to en naught the unperturbed eigen energy plus psi n naught hp psi n naught plus this summation term so this completes the calculation of en1 en2 and psi n1 in the time independent perturbation theory for non-degenerate case. In our next lecture, we will discuss about time dependent perturbation theory. Thank you so much.